Hello big team, this is Vincent Ovita and today we want to cover one of the uh, new skills that has been introduced in the new test of competency and that is nutritional assessment. Now, nutritional assessment is just basically um, the malnutrition universal uh, screening tool aspect of scoring and it has two elements. The first bit is just getting the total score for that tool. And the second element is where you are expected to present to the assessor. Uh, now you need to work on these two elements first and sure you get your score right, because uh, that's where everything uh, will commence from. And as you know, most failures from OSCE normally originates from documentation. So ensure you get your uh, scoring correct. More of the explanation, you may miss some things, but if your score is wrong, in that case, you've just implicated yourself. Now, you know this chart uh, uh, that is used for OSCE. Uh, the first bit, which contains the credentials of the patient, is usually... Uh, failed. So uh, the first, which is step one, uh, according to the marking criteria, it's telling you you ought to calculate and get a score for step one. Uh, as things stands now, all this will be prefilled. The step one will be prefilled, the step two will be prefilled, and step three will also be prefilled, or if there's nothing there, it just means it's zero. So your role right now is just to add the score in one. In my case, I have a score of one for step one, a score of two in step two, and there is no score for step three. So I'll just take one plus two, which is three, and I come under the total uh, most score and place three. If I use the range that have been provided there, three represent high risk. That means this my patient is at high risk of malnutrition. Then uh, after placing three under the total most score, I come under the same line. I place the date today, yeah, which is 18th of January, 2023. Uh, time, which is uh, 4 p.m., 16.00, and then place my signature down there. With all that, I'll be sure I've got my uh, documentation right. Then that's the first bit of this, uh, of, this, uh, of this station. Now, there's the bit of the assessor. Now, all this will be like a quiet element. You do it, then once you are done, now you go report to the assessor. Now, uh, make your assumption that you are the assessor and I'll be reporting to you throughout. So, uh, from this assessment, uh, assessor, my patient is at high risk of malnutrition and will need referral to a dietitian for further intervention. Uh, and uh, the plan of care for this patient, who, for John, who is having high risk of uh, malnutrition, will revolve around uh, developing a meal plan so that they are able to get all the essential nutrients that they need. Uh, there's also the aspect of taking food in small, uh, their meals in small quantities to encourage them so that they can eat uh, more portions. Uh, which normally comes about when you are demoralized with the portion of food maybe you are having. Then uh, I would also consider uh, John to also choose like uh, the preferred meals from the meal, uh, from the food choices that are recommended. These three elements will ensure John gets uh, sufficient uh, nutrients to support their nutrition. Now, uh, this with with the high risk of malnutrition that John has, I would recommend that uh, John's nutritional status be assessed once a week or more frequently if the condition uh, changes. Uh, now, John, uh, from from the interaction uh, from uh, from uh, the content of uh, John's history. John is at high risk of um, uh, malnutrition due to lack of support and also reduced appetite. 
with these two elements i would recommend uh, john to reach out to the uh, social care services to provide additional support either with food provision or in their preparation and things of that kind i would also um i would also uh, uh, recommend uh, john to uh, opt for the foods uh, that uh, opts for the food that he likes so that that can improve his intake throughout and with all that i'm sure uh, john will be able to come out of high risk of malnutrition so that will form your nutritional uh, assessment uh for the new test of competency in case of in case you have any question regarding this or any other element that you want us to cover just place it in the comment section and i will handle it now another aspect about this uh this nutritional assessment according to the marking criteria it's giving you the option of uh calculating step one step two and step three uh, maybe due to uncertainty of that, which we will be guided later on by NMC, uh, they may bring it in form of a scenario and give you um, give you things to calculate and all that. But we will see that one as it uh, as it unfolds as this just an aspect that is still being explored. But as things stands by, all those parts are prefilled. So we work with that for now and we will cross the bridge when we reach there. Thank you so much. Take care and for now, bye bye. We'll see you later.